Shanti Deva is a really kind of like a resemble of great scholar and at the same time great meditation uh, master. The Shanti Deva is great a practitioner of the Mahayana and also Vajrayana. Uh, he was in the Nalinda in India and he was very learned and great realized master. And he learned uh, the way of Bodhisattva practice from many teachers in India. And he's kind of humble and normally what we call hidden yogi. So he will not expose others that his um, wisdom, knowledge, experience to others. So looks like he is very ordinary monk in Nalinda and a little bit lazy. <laughs> He's like eat and he got to his room, look like sleeping, you know. And then when he when they hear the uh, uh, bell, you know, bell ring for food, he go and eat a lot and come back in room and sleeping and looks like he's not really studying, not really practicing. But in that time, what he are doing is he try to transform all the afflictions, distracted emotions, including sleeping, including laziness, everything transformed into uh, loving kindness, compassion, bodhicitta, and emptiness. So he's practicing that. So then, in the Nalinda monastery, there's a, what we call discipline master. Sometimes they check and see what those monks are doing, uh, study, contemplating, meditation or not. And this discipline master always see the Shanti Deva is sleeping. And they all said, oh, what should we do? Uh, should we tell him? Or should we leave it as it is? And then the, the abbots are said, okay, leave it as it is for a while. And they just leave it as it is. And then it's affecting other monks, you know, kind of like they all look at him. Oh, he is sleeping. Maybe I should sleep also. <laughs> Don't do any study. So then it's affect other monks for the discipline. So then those discipline masters, they said, maybe we should ask him to teach to all the monks. So if he agree, we know that he's uh, not studying, not doing anything, so he will leave, automatically he will leave the monastery. So we will try that, you know. So, and they all, all the discipline masters, they get together and they ask the abbot, abbot said, hmm, okay, you can do that. Abbot knows that he's a really great, a realized master, but, the, but abbot also knows by doing that, it, it will help to the Shandideva to teach. Otherwise, Shandideva, don't want to teach, it's hidden, you know. So then all the discipline master asked him, could you teach for all the monks? Shanideva said, yes. Then discipline master laughing, <laughs> you know, he know nothing. So then they said, okay, we will prepare very nice throne, Dharma throne, and we will do very good um, advertisement. All the monks, we will call all the monks and do big ceremony. So he will be shy and then he will leave the monastery <laughs> and good for all of us. So then they did all the preparations and they welcome the Shanti Deva. You know, Shanti Deva went to the throne. For some monks, when they came there, Shanti Deva already on the throne. They don't know how he went there. And the throne is very high. They have to have <laughs> stairs, you know, special they prepare very high. But he just almost like flew, arrived on the throne. Some monks, they saw that. Then he taught this the way of Bodhisattva. All the monks are very surprised. How come he can teach this wonderful teaching? So then chapter one, two, three, four, five, then all the more, more, more monks comes and even abbots, everybody came and listened to his teaching. And around chapter 9, he levitated. Levitated from the uh, throne. 
and there's a particular sentence, and his body disappeared. Only his voice taught the rest of chapter 9 and chapter 10, and he's gone. <laughs> so now discipline master really regret, oh, I think we chased great realized monk. 